Hello and welcome to Busy Bee Sewing Challenge 1. Now if you're not sure what's happening there is an introductory video which I'll link below that you can go and watch but this is our first of three challenges and I'm taking part with four other people so you'll be able to see a playlist where you can go and watch all of their challenge ones as well but this is the first part so for challenge one each of us sent another person in the challenge a sewing pattern and it's very exciting because we don't know what they were choosing for us they were trying to choose something that we might like we did set a few stipulations such as please don't give me trousers or no zips if that was something we wanted i on the other hand told gemini stitches i was pretty easy so who knows what she sent me but i'm very excited to see what i've got so today's episode, you will see an, unopening, an opening on screen live of what she sent me. And then I will share with you some plans and ideas. At the end of the month, we will all share our results and you will get to see and we'll see each other's. And so it's very exciting. So here we go. Challenge one. This envelope arrived in the post and I've had to resist opening it until today. But for this, I'm going to open it, see what she sent me, and then tell you my thoughts. So the person who sent me my pattern was Christine from Gemini Stitches. And I sent one on to Carol of So Carol. So you'll be able to see the video where she opens hers. And obviously I know what I sent her, but nobody else knows. So let's get into this. What did Christine send me? It's quite a big parcel, I have to say. It's quite thick. For a sewing pattern, so I'm very excited. She knows my style, so whether she's chosen something that will suit my style, I don't know. Let's have a look. There's a lot in here. There is an instructions and a huge folded, so this must be a printed, unless she's, I think she stuck it together for me. She has, I think she's printed this on a printer and stuck it together. So look, you can see all the joins. Oh my goodness, better person than I am. There's no way I could have done that. And I thought it felt a bit weighty. This is very kind. Um, and obviously knows me more than I think I've let on. St. Tony's Chocolini in my favourite flavour. I'll be enjoying that whilst making this. And I think there's a card in here too. Yes, there is. Let's open the card. So there is a card that says, thank you so much. Uh, I want to say thank you for helping to organise the first Busy Bee Sewing Challenge. Good luck with the pattern and I hope you like the one I've chosen. She's made two of these already and described them as secret pyjamas. What have I got? So I've held off. I've looked at everything else. So now I'm going to turn it round. It's in here. And it's the sepia pegged pants. There they are. And this is from the Closet Core. And it is a trouser. This looks like it's got elastic waist, outside pockets. And it looks like it's got sort of a like a fold in on the leg. Let's have a look. This is quite exciting. I've only ever really sewn shorts or culottes, not proper trousers. So that's the sepia pants are a clever design that blends style and comfort featuring a gently rounded barrel shape through the leg, a soft paper bag waist and beautifully top stitched layered pockets. Wow. And there's darts at the knee and hem for shaping. So there's darts in places I've never put darts before. This is very exciting. And a traditional elastic band is elevated with a fluted paper bag edge and an optional drawstring. Wow, so I need to go and have a think. It says fabric, so this is what I'm going to go and think about. Light to heavyweight linen, lightweight denim, midweight cotton, such as chambray, broadcloth, twill and canvas. I need to have a think. I really need to not try to buy anything. A bit like on the sewing bee where they go to the haberdashery and choose from there. I need to open up this cupboard here, have a good look. Need some elastic, but I've got that. I've got interfacing, and it says for confident beginners. That's perfect for me. This is very exciting. Here's a little picture of what they look like. 
go. I'm going to be popping over to Christine, Gemini Stitches Instagram and YouTube to be have a looking for the pairs she's made. I'm going to be having a spot what size I need to make, or I'm going to need to grade between there, I think. Um, and amount of fabric, it's less than three metres, so that's perfect. I keep saying to myself, I must not buy fabric, I must not buy fabric. <laughs> so this is really exciting. I'm looking forward to watching the unopening of the patterns that everyone else gets too. And I can't wait to see what we all send each other and what Carol thinks of what I've sent her. And um, yes, it's a month to sew. So we're giving ourselves a month for each challenge. So there'll be challenge number one for July, challenge number two for August and challenge number three for September. We felt we wanted to do that rather than rush it because life gets in the way of sewing sometimes and we don't want to be disappointed or it to fail because sometimes with a collaboration it can fall off the bandwagon so to speak because everybody's so busy with life particularly over the summer as well so I've got a whole month to plan not shop for fabric and to make these I'm absolutely delighted and I can't believe she stuck the whole pattern together herself that's so fantastic so thank you Christine I am delighted and really looking forward to sharing with you all what I make but also seeing what everyone else in the challenge gets to and what they think about it. Okay just quickly popping back on to show you my fabric choices for the wonderful pattern that Christine has given me. First option, I did have a look, I watched the YouTube video from Closet Core about the trousers. So my first option was this, which I think has got that sort of not overly drapey and sort of linenish feel, but I've only got two metres so I don't think that's going to be enough. Then I remembered I'd got this, which uh, was a pair of curtains, so you can see the fading on the edge there. And I took the lining off to use. I think these again have got that crispness whilst having enough to uh, go around the elastic waist. So these could be quite a nice summer option. I have this, which is very me, and is a poplin and actually is quite stiff. I've, even, I've washed it and it's still super stiff. So that could, I need to think about the direction of the pattern there because that could end up being a little bit unflattering uh, particularly with the pockets over the top so not 100% don't know if I've got enough of this but making a kind of twirl for the first version this could be a good option just a plain turquoise if I've got enough another pair of curtains from a charity shop yellow gingham so again they've got that sort of bit of weight don't know about yellow gingham though and might be a little bit see-through I have got enough of those or a vintage striped sheet and again this is that mid weight so they could and that could look really interesting if I did the trousers that way and then the pocket going in the other direction so across that that could look really interesting so that's quite a strong contender I wonder which I'll pick Will I make a toile and an actual version? Who knows? You're going to have to wait for the reveal video to find out.